There's always a lot of chatter about computer graphics cards, thanks to bigger and better models every few months. It's not always clear who actually needs one, though. Today, we will look at the GeForce RTX 3050 graphic card performance. Welcome to Tech Insight. Getting a hold of one of the best graphic cards of 2021 is the only way to go. Whether you're hoping to experience the best PC games in stunning 4K resolution or produce high-resolution content smoothly, the graphics card is, after all, the heart and soul of your desktop or gaming PC. So it's the right time to get one of the best graphics cards. If you want to be updated about top technologies, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this in the future. And don't forget to click that bell icon to be updated of the next time we post. Now let's begin with the NVIDIA RTX 3050 for your next graphics card. Thanks to the fierce competition between NVIDIA and AMD, graphics cards are not only getting more powerful, but they are also getting more affordable. It looks like NVIDIA has three budget Ampere GPUs in the form of RTX 3050, RTX 3050 Ti, and the RTX 3060. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti certainly threatens that claim with its price-to-performance ratio. The newest arrival of the RTX 3000 lines, this graphics card punches way above its weight class, delivering a performance that could rival that of the RTX 2080 Super while keeping its price tag incredibly affordable for most people. And if you think AMD is still stuck in the budget and mid-range markets, think again. The AMD Radon RX 6800 marks AMD's return to the high-end graphics card market, and it's a premium ace without the incredibly premium price. This GPU delivers a solid 4K gaming experience and impressive ray tracing at 1440p, while being a better value than its direct rival, the RTX 3070, thanks to its VRAM. Plus, AMD's smart access memory technology will make it even faster. The three GPUs have appeared in a rundown of Lenovo region platform specifications, spotted by video cards. The GeForce RTX 3050 is a NVIDIA graphics card that was released in January of 2021. Built on the 8NM process and based on the graphics processor GA107, the card supports DirectX 12 Ultimate in its GA107 300A1 version. GeForce RTX 30 ensures that all modern games will run. In addition, in upcoming video games, the DirectX Ultimate capability ensures support for a hardware ray tracing, variable rate shading, and more. It features 2,304 shading units, 72 texture mapping units, and 40 ROPs. And also included are 72 tensor cores, which will help improve the speed of machine learning applications. The card also has 18 ray tracing acceleration cores. Being a dual-slotted card, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 draws power from one 6-pin power connector with a power draw rated at 90W maximum. Its display outputs include one HDMI and three display ports. GeForce RTX 3050 is connected to the rest of the system using a PCI Express 4.x16 interface. The card measures 242 millimeters in length, 112 millimeters in width. The card measures 242 millimeters in length, 112 millimeters in width, and features a dual slot cooling solution. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Make sure you are subscribed to our channel for more content like this in the future. And don't forget to click that bell icon to be the first to know when our new videos go up. Enjoy the rest. The amount of graphics memory or video RAM that your video card has on board directly affects the resolution at which you can game smoothly, as well as the detail settings that are possible. The overall power of the graphics processing unit, commonly called the GPU, on the card dictates how well you can run a specific game on certain settings too. But think of the video memory as a freeway that opens up lanes for the GPU to work its magic without getting congested. Without enough video memory, the GPU will be constrained, unable to perform at its maximum potential. The reason? The video card actually crunches all the pixels that go onto the screen while they are in memory. So the more data that is needed, either for a certain resolution or to display more detail in a game, the more memory is required to handle it efficiently. That's why high-end video cards tend to have more on-card memory. 
More of it is needed to manage all the pixels that render games at higher resolution and at higher detail settings. NVIDIA has paired 4GB GDDR6 memory with the GeForce RTX 3050, which are connected using a 128 memory interface. The GPU is operating at a frequency of 1,545 MHz, which can be boosted up to 1,740 MHz. Memory is running at 1,750 MHz, with 1080p being the most common gaming resolution at the moment, it is noticed how well the GeForce RTX 3050 can run Grand Theft Auto 6 at 1080p and return reasonable frame rates at the following settings. Low, 137 frames per second. Medium, 108 frames per second. High, 73 frames per second. And Ultra, 52 frames per second. Among other GPUs, the NVIDIA RTX 3050 became the cheapest graphics card in the RTX 30 range, with 2,304 CUDA cores and up to 4GB GDDR6 memory. And as NVIDIA RTX 3050 ensures that all modern games will run on GeForce RTX 3050, it is a good reason to make it your next graphics card. So this was all about NVIDIA RTX 3050, your next graphics card. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can join the Tech Insight squad and be a part of our channel. Thanks for watching.